Man. What's up, guys? Today, we're going to talk a little bit about power. And I've had some discussions with you guys about power in the past. But I've had a few questions, and um, I think they deserve some uh, better answers. So we're going to do that today. Um, one of the questions that I had was, uh, this guy was running uh, some high-end uh, batteries, and I believe they rested around 13.2. And he's running a high output alternator that charges at 14.4. Um, the problem is, of course, after a short time, his voltage drops to 13.2 or 13.3 or whatever it is. And uh, he's wondering how to solve that problem. Well, here's the thing. Um, whenever you're running your alternator, Let's say you're running a uh, 300 amp alternator and 300 amps times, say, 14.4 uh, volts, 14.4, that is 4,320 watts. Uh, so you're actually only going to be making like 3,800, 3,900 watts uh, out of your amplifier. Okay, it's it's really simple. However much amperage you're making. So if you want to do it the easy way, we'll do it the easy way. Come make that simple. So if your amp is making 300, 300 amps, and instead of doing 14.4, let's subtract it and do, say, 12. And drop that two and a half volts because your amp is not turning all this power into wattage. So we just say times, uh, what was it here? 300 watt, 300 amps. Come on, y'all guys are doing it in your head already, right? Times 12 uh, equals, wow, why screwed that up? I can't even math on a calculator. That's what it was. Okay. Come on, you guys are doing it in your head. So that's 3,600 3, watts. So uh, just drop two, two to two and a half volts off of whatever your voltage is, and that'll account for your amps inefficiencies. All right. Um, so this alternator is producing 3,600 watts. That's it. If your amplifier is trying to make, say, 8,000 watts, it's not going to add up. It's just not. No. No matter what you do, okay, no matter what amplifier you put on this system, it's not going to make more than 3,600 watts. It's just not, okay? Now, you have batteries. Batteries are a thing, right? But the battery, say, rests at 12 and a half volts. 12.5, 12.6, something like that. Wherever that battery rests at is where you have to drop that voltage to before the battery starts helping the alternator. Yeah, right? So if you say, well, I got batteries to help back up the alternator, not at 14.4 volts, you don't. Your batteries are resting at, you know, somewhere between 12 and 13 volts. And until you drop that voltage down to that point, you are relying completely off of what the alternator is putting out. If it's charging well above the battery's resting voltage, that's what you got. So if you're running a 3000 watt amp on a 300 amp alternator, you're going to be able to hold 14.4 volts, more or less. It's going to bounce a little bit, but it's going to stay up there. The moment you try to pull, say, 4,000 watt amp or a 5,000 watt amp on there, you're going to drop it down until it hits the batteries. Uh, there's just no other way around that. Because whenever, if your alternator is providing power between hits, like we've talked about before, uh, you're not playing a sine wave, right? You're playing a bass note. Boom, 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 right? 
if that's what's happening, normally what happens is your alternator charges, then your alternator and your battery goes boom, and then your alternator charges, and then your alternator and your battery goes boom. But that's only going to happen when you get down to the battery's resting voltage. Otherwise, it just doesn't care what's happening above its resting voltage. It does not care. So you say, well, why do I even want a high output alternator? Well, that's where the math comes in. So, a high output alternator uses voltage to increase its power output. So, if you have a 300 amp alternator, let's do a clear all this time. A 300 amp alternator times 12 is 3600. Okay, a 300, a 300 amp alternator times 14 is 4200. Now, that's power going into the battery. So, the battery is receiving more power if the voltage on the alternator is higher than it would be if the voltage was lower, even though you get the same 300 amps. Because your wattage, power going in, is this is a combination it's a multiple of the amperage so it's amps times times uh, volts so the higher the volts the more power is going in but the batteries are not going to participate in giving the amplifier power until you've reached the the the, the top of that tank you know you've got to get the low voltage has to come down enough to where they're playing ball now if you notice that whenever you're jamming your system real hard, start out at 14 and a half volts, whatever it is, it'll drop down and it'll hit like 12 and a half, right? Uh, 12.5, 12.6, you're like, yeah, it's holding pretty good. Then after that song's about over with, it drops on down to like 12.1 and it's dipping into the 11s. Like, crap. You know, it's not keeping up. It's steadily getting lower. Then finally, you shut your stuff off because you don't want to blow stuff up, right? It's real simple. What's happening is you're running out of power. Your batteries are getting taxed. They've been helping. They played all through that song, and they're not enough power going back into them to account, to account for the power that came out. Okay, so you're lacking. Somewhere you need to improve your charging system. Uh, you can add more batteries, and that'll buy you more time before they drop all the way, but they're still going to drop. Um, now, then there's the other effect, too, where you have, depending on what kind of chemistry you have, because a battery can only take in so much power at one time, and it can also only put out so much power at one time. You may say, well, I want to run, uh, you know, uh, lithium instead. Lithium can take more power in and put more power out. But here's the thing. If your voltage is dropping, drop, 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 drop. All right, it's giving out the same amount of power. The battery is giving out the same amount of power it's taking in. It's it, it's it's got a consistent thing there, right? It can take in this much, it can give out this much. It may only be doing a little bit, but it's steadily losing the grant. It's losing the race. The alternator's not putting enough power back in. Battery's only giving out so much. You put in a lithium battery, the alternator can put more power in, but the battery's still giving out the same amount. You're still going to drop voltage, okay? And if you say, well, mine's holding power just fine and doing this and this, well, then your amplifier is only producing set watts. It may still be hitting hard and slamming and doing the business, but you can't make power out of magic. It doesn't work that way. The current going into the system is the same as the current going out of the system or the voltage is dropping. You're either only making this much power or you're slowly losing the race. There's no magical battery that's going to keep producing power when you're not putting power in. Okay, so for the short term, you don't want to beat song. Jam out a song. You don't do nothing for a few minutes and then you jam another song. You probably get away with it. Lots of batteries. If you got enough power to fill it back up, you know it spikes up, comes down, goes back up, comes down. Yeah. That kind of work, okay? But if you're jamming steadily, you're going to steadily lose the race. You just can't make power out of nothing. 
So how do you solve that problem in that scenario? More off to later. Um, that's it. The only other solution is to build a more efficient system. Uh, better enclosure, more efficient subwoofers. You know, use the power that you have more efficiently instead of trying to throw power at it every time. Build a better box, you know, seal up things, get rid of problems, fix the acoustics of the space. You know, those are solutions that don't take power to do. If you do all that right, you can run on less power and get similar output. Other than that, you just got to put more alternators. If you can't pour more alternators, you can bigger alternators. If you can't put bigger alternators, you got no room to do any of that. You're going to have to get a different car. So there just ain't no way to create power without creating power. So it's unfortunate. And there'll be plenty of people out there saying, oh, man, I got a stock alternator and two batteries and I'm running a 20K and it's slamming, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Sure, you got the capacity to make 20,000 watts, but you're only putting in, you know, 2,000 watts of power, so you're only going to get out, you know, 1,800 watts of power. It's just, that's just the way it works. You could have the biggest, baddest, nastiest amplifier there is and feed it 100 amps of power, and you're going to get out 1,000 watts, maybe 1,500, 2,000 in burst but it's going to slowly go away. It's just how this works. So I hope this is helpful for you guys to understand the reality of the situation versus what seems to be happening, what you perceive as happening. In reality, you're only going to get out what you put in, no matter what. Peace, guys. <laughs>